Ooh. 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 You're on. Oh, well, say something, mother. No. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, bitch, don't even start. We are only on day four of stay at home. And <laughs> we've already I violated mean. it twice. This is Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo. We've had clients ask us, why didn't you tell us that this was coming? Well, I have a bit of an answer. <laughs> First, why, <laughs> but you don't want to hear it. Do I look like fucking Sylvia Brown? <laughs> I don't know, you're as old as Sylvia Brown. Uh, fuck off, you're, <laughs> what, two years younger than I am. Um... We, for a long time at the moon, we've been talking since last summer of this, this thing that we've been feeling is, was coming. We had no idea what it was. We just had the urgency to prepare for something, but no idea how to prepare for it. Anybody that was the least bit sensitive, uh, a clientele, would come in and say, you know, I've got this feeling that something heavy is going to happen. I feel like I need to do something. I feel like I need to get ready for something, and I don't know what it is. And, you know, we would tell them, well, there's a lot of people that are feeling that right now because the world is like a rubber band that's been pulled too tight, and it's getting ready to pop. And something big is coming, and when it does, it's going to be life-changing, and it's going to probably change our way of life forever. Um, this is it. What's going on now is it. How we handle it is going to determine which way it changes our lives, for the better or for the worst. Now, right now, the social distancing thing, and I really hope that that catchphrase goes away mm -hmm. when this goes away. It's kind of like the whole twin flame soulmate thing. It makes me want to gag. Uh, it... it We've had to do the social distancing thing, and we're working from our homes now, doing readings on um, over the phone, which we hate, but, you know, we're older. We don't want to take an unnecessary risk. Speak for yourself. You're She's, old. I didn't say old. I said older. Uh, I don't know why I hang out with that bitch between you and me. She's fucking nuts. <laughs> anyway. Birds of a feather? Um... You know, we had been warning people, but we just didn't know what it was, what it was coming. We had no idea the gods or whomever the powers that be kept us blind to what this was. Um, mm -hmm. I had a client ask me, why didn't you tell me? I'm like, bitch, they didn't tell me either. Yeah. <laughs> I think she left the bitch part out, but I don't know. She might have said it. Um, no, I said it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but how we go on from here is going to determine how the rest of the world follows. Just the old saying, keep calm and carry on, that's all you can do. Try to stay as healthy as possible. Try to distance yourself as much as you can from people. Um, but this too shall pass, and it won't be that long. I mean, it's we haven't peaked yet, so it's it's not close to over, but I really still think that 2020 has the, the possibility of being a really great year if we just get through this. Um, so, you know, in our defense, we did warn people. We just didn't know what we were warning them against. We had no idea. I mean, we're not omnipotent. We're not gods. We, um, you know, we do the best we can with what information spirit gives us. And sometimes uh, if we said, yeah, there's going to be a pandemic that's going to come and it's going to kill thousands of people, he looked at us like we were crazy. Mm -hmm. um, but, and people aren't handling this well. They, yeah, they're... I'm seeing a whole lot of ugliness come mm -hmm. on a whole lot of people. And I'm not liking it. No. If this is a dry run for something bigger, we're in trouble. Which I don't think it is, but... It's a cosmic fire drill, and we are failing. Yeah, big time. So, you know, do what you have to do to stay healthy. This will be over before too long, and life will get back to some semblance of normalcy. But I think that it's everything is going to change. And this is a 
good opportunity to spend some time dealing with your spirituality. If you have some cards, practice with them. Um, if you like to meditate, meditate. You know, do yoga, whatever you need to do. Get yourself in touch with whatever outside spirit helps you spiritually. Uh, good luck. Stay healthy. This has been Raven with Twisted Sisters Mojo, and I look forward to seeing you again.